can I put this old sawzall back together and will it run? Follow to the end to find out. Oh man, what did I get myself into again? Oh! Well, I'm going to attempt to put this back together. And the first thing I'm going to do is load this up with grease. I have some grease here. And along with this right here, and we'll see if we can't get it back together. This slides into here. So let's get this grease in here. Okay, you can see I got that full of grease. Now let's work grease into at least this bearing here and we will get it in around here. Let's see what happens when I shove this when I shove this in here and how much of that grease is actually uh, had my eyes dilated this morning and uh, probably closer to noon and uh, can't believe how that affects your sight. I can't see very good right now, but I'll do my best. Let's get a little bit more of that schmutz in there. Smutch is just the way that my grandfather, my dad, my mom used to say it. It was grease. Grease, schmutz is the way the Germans and the Swiss say grease. I don't know how much goes in there to you. Let me know. Let me know in the comments how to actually do this right. Now I wonder what screws go in here next. I should have figured that out ahead of time, but I didn't. We've got two here. That look right. Let's see. Hey, that's going in. Let's see how it works. I think I got the right ones. At least the only two like this. Well, I struggled to get this tore apart when I did it. I had no idea how to do it. But uh, I think I got it. Squeeze that down nice and snug. You can see that grease working its way out of there. Well, I hope that spins the way it's supposed to. I think that will work. Now what's the next step? Would be... I could finish putting this together up on the front end, but we'll wait to do that until I get the back end. We're going to call this front part complete. I'll set it over there, wipe some of this crap off of my hands, and we will pick this up, put just a little grease in that bearing, so it's nice and greased. So it comes down in there. Okay, that's enough grease. Let's just do a little bit. Oh yeah, I see it coming out here really well on the back side. Okay, we'll call that greased. I think that's the end of the grease that I need to do. I'm going to reach over here and grab a clean shop towel and wipe my hands off. One thing about working with grease like this, that uh, hands never dry out. Oh, did you see this over here by the way, this old motor? I found a motor to get the parts that I needed to redo this old rototiller right here that I want to show you. That's coming up and it's a lot of history behind that old rototiller but that's an upcoming project. Uh, and I've got that motor 
And these two Briggs motors right here, I'm going to use for parts. If not parts, I'm going to get them running. Let's get this back together. Enough, enough messing around. Let's take a look at this next right here. Okay, I have the coil slid into the housing and now we're going to install this. This wire right here slid right in there. Let's see if we can get it in there. It slid in. Now this wire here came up through here and somehow fed right through there like that. And then this went down. But before I do that, I definitely need to get these two bolts in here because one goes right there and the other one goes on the other side, just like that. And then on the back side of this, oh, need more fingers. We'll do one at a time. Let me get, yeah, the, right here, you can see that came through and this little lock nut was on the back side of that. And let me get the other one in and start it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be totally amazed if this thing runs when I get done. Never torn one apart like this before. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got grease all over my phone. Oh well, it needs lubricated too. Just help it some, I guess. Let's see if I can find a socket to get on those. Found the right wrench and I went ahead and tightened them up. They're nice and snug. Took a little socket like that. You can see in there now. Next step is to... Well, let's put this back in place we can. This actually went around right here, was shoved down in there and it had a wire tie on it. And I'm going to try to get away without that wire tie. Okay, now what's next? Yeah, these two go to the trigger. I guess we will put this in next. Let me wipe everything off so I'm sure it's grease free. Especially that right there. Wonder if I shouldn't just get some cleaner and now I believe that'll be okay. Okay now we're gonna shut that in there. And we're going to make sure that that falls right into play where I think it should. And let's wait a minute. There's part missing. Part missing. You knew it, didn't you? You knew I was putting that together wrong. Were you about to say something? What I need to do is get that down just a little further. That's got to be flush and it's not flush because this isn't slipping up in place where it needs to be. How can I get that where I need it? 
see that little thing right there, that cardboard needs to be slipped tightly against on each side and it's not. Okay, I went ahead and got that all back up in there. I had to take the whole thing apart again to get it in there. Just another one of them mistakes. Now this part right here should slip right in and be flush with the top or recess some. And look at that, it snapped right in this time. You can see that it's uniformed. Now we're back to this. So this goes in like this. There's a place for the bearing down in there. Drop it down in and find that slot and get it started. And hopefully just a little bit of tapping here, maybe, should get us right in there. And let's just, boy. I don't want to hit any harder than that. But it looks to me like we are where we are supposed to be in there. So let's see what we uh, look like with a brush in place. Okay, the brushes are in. Do you remember if this went on this way or this way? It goes on this way because the bearing goes down in there. And there were I think three screws holding that on. There's three. Got all those. Okay, I've got, we've got this figured out. It's coming. Let's put a little grease in here. Just to hold everything the way it's supposed to. Okay, this goes like this. We got you. And then this thing is back together. I have the inner parts put together. These four screws took me a little bit to figure out this plate right here, which direction it went. But once I did, right together, I do have a lot of uh, uh, residual grease on this from handling it and putting grease in the right spots. Now, from where I sit, I would say the next step on this whole process would be to install at least one half of the handle like it came off. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go do that right now. This can only go on one way on this tool. It, uh, it goes like this. It has to because you're going to hold the tool like that. So let's put these two screws in here which will help hold this in place. Okay, now let's turn this over. Let's make us some room here. Have this turned over. And the trigger will fit right up in there like that. But we have to figure out now again where these wires went. Some of them's obvious, like, you know, it's real obvious that this one fed down through here like this. And it's pretty obvious that this one would have fed up through like this. So. Where did this one go? Where did that go? And then when I put the cord in here, which is right here, and let me get this. Did it go like this? Or did it go like that? I'm gonna say like this. It fell in place at least like that. Well, I have the wires hooked up, but something isn't quite right. And I'm not 100% sure what to do about it. I have one wire that is really questionable. And it's this one right here. This one right here. 
doesn't seem like it's long enough. Everything else looks good, but I have to figure out why that wire seems too short. We're going to try something. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Oh. I'm going to plug it in. Don't do this at home. And I'm going to hold on to the trigger and pull it. And let's see if it runs. Now the sparks could fly here, so cross your fingers. Well, you heard it run. I'm as surprised as you are. So I have to have it wired correctly. I just have to reroute these wires, put this on, close it up, and it would be ready to go. I found a wire that was acting up. I got it, I had to reroute it a little bit in here, but I have this all together. I put a blade in it. I have my cord here. Let's see if it runs again. It's running. Now I have a, a board set up here in my vise. Let's see if it cuts. Blade's pretty dull. It's warming up just a little bit here, but that's normal. You saw it run. If you have any comments you want to share about projects, tool repairs that you've done, I'd appreciate you um, sharing them with me. If you like the content that I bring you in my, on my channel, I'd appreciate it if you, if you would subscribe. If you like the videos and you want to see another one similar to this or something that I've repaired, I encourage you to watch this video right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.